Hello and welcome back to Europa Nevalis for the Great Khan. We're currently at war with Norway, Gujarat, and Persia, and we're just kinda sieging and everything. I mean, none of these enemies are actually a threat to us. This is just getting us more land, which will increase our force limit and, you know, makes us stronger. Uh, Sind are completely ignoring our... Like, I told Sind to go and siege something over here in Gujarat, and they've decided, nope, I'm gonna go and attack Norway in Norway. So, you know, it's close enough. Uh, Bain will seed stuff to Bavaria. Okay. Nothing too big there. Right. I mean, I suppose that means we don't have to beat Norway's army. That's about, that's about it from uh, the interest I have on that. It's not that exciting overall. Oh, we can actually go get... We can just... Uh, that's a weird pathing. We'll just stay where we are if that's the pathing we'd have, need to take. Uh... Okay, Persia's sieging down over there, nothing going on. Oh, we got Gujarat's capital, which means that we could probably start sieging the rest of them over here. Oh, they're just moving their 23-man army. What's their... F their military's level 18, ours is 20, and we have a few ideas. I think we should be able to take him. And our leader's not too bad, so we'll, we'll, we'll take him. We'll beat, we'll beat them up. There we are. Absolutely destroying them. And that'll send them away. Uh, they're still high enthusiasm, but... Well, what can you do? Take the mission, cancel it, because none of those are good. Just move back here and start sieging up. Uh, we're probably going to have to wait till we get some more armies out from somewhere else. Uh, definitely you head like that to Sojin, then. Although that probably means the four-man army is just going to walk like straight here. Scandinavia declared war on Muscovy. Interesting. Uh, not entirely sure I want to uh, that to happen, but, you know, it has. I mean, if we don't give them military access, there's very little they can actually take from Muscovy, so that's fine. Yeah, if we, if we say no to military access, that should be fine. Hopefully they don't cancel ours like, as spite, but the AI tend not to do that. Okay, we stack wiped them. Good. Uh, almost uh, finished sieging Norway. And after we finish sieging Norway, it might be a good idea to send these armies down here to come and join in. The siege next province. We're still waiting on Masvidan, still waiting on that. Why did this unsiege? This also unsieged when we had previously sieged. That's weird. It happened last episode as well. Uh, we'll just wait. I don't know why it unsieged. Maybe it's because, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I can't think of a way that that makes sense. Let's split that army, and then we can do that. Good. Uh, I'm wondering whether we should take everything from Norway. Like, just all their provinces. What can we take? I just want to have a quick look. Siege of Shirvan is done. Good. Let's say I wanted to take something like... Oh, we could take all of Norway. Oh, okay. Well, that seems fine. Uh, no. Ooh. Ooh. They've got a core that we can give back to Sint. Interesting. I want to siege up, um, a, like, what, what's the... Uh, I want to siege up these two provinces, and then we can kind of give that to Sint. We'll split up for a very short amount of time so we can siege them, and then we can see what Gujarat are willing to give, because they're willing to peace out now, because they're medium enthusiasm. Uh, we got Shivran, so I'm going to send you down to Gilan and send you up there, just to siege, and then we'll move them all through. Uh, prestige over legitimacy, like, as in, we're not losing legitimacy. Norway at 100%. I would like to take all of your provinces. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to get a lot of overextension, but we get all of those provinces. Uh, we get some aggressive expansion, which means that Muscovy and Norway might join a coalition against us, but Muscovy... Oh, and Scandinavia might join. And Estonia. But Norway won't exist. Muscovy's weak. Scandinavia's at war with Muscovy, and Estonia is nothing. So, yeah, we'll do that, definitely. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh... Cost, we want to core the ones that cost least first. And this, because that will reduce our overextension. 
Now, what's our unrest in these provinces? This pretty high. It's pretty high. Uh, probably means we're going to get um, some rebels very soon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess we have to leave these armies up here then to deal with the rebels. Because we're, we're going to get rebels and there's nothing we can do about it. So we might as well deal with that. Right. Ming declared war on Japan. Okay. That's fine. As long as they're not declaring war on us, everything works out good for us. Gujarat, what are you doing? Wait till they're locked in. There we are. We're going to kill their army. And then we're going to try and peace out. I want to uh, switch this to be... Actually, what does Sint have a core? It has a core on this one. So specifically, I'm not going to give that to them. To Sint. And the reason is that now allows us another way to declare war on uh, Gujarat later. We take that from them. Oh, also, we should go and have a look at our colonists over here. As remembered, well, you need to head down to Palu. And our other colony... Oh, it got destroyed. It must have got destroyed without me even realising. Okay. Oops. Um, right, once these sieges finish, we can start sending these armies back down. What's the next core? 61. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, I don't want your peace. I want my peace. Which is going to be very slightly different. Gujarat. I want you to give that to Sind. That Sind, that Sind, and that's Okay, you can give those to Sind. Cost us a small amount of Diplo points. Yeah, that seems fine. That works out perfectly for me. That there means that our 25-man army can go and deal with something over here. Now, do we have any forts over here we want? We want uh, let's go for uh, Yazda over here. That'll work. It's getting the forts is the most important thing anyway, so that works out. Right. want to just head down here. Everything seems to be absolutely fine right now. We're just at war of one person. We have a few things happening over here. All of this being this colour is actually just weirding me out right now. But, uh, yeah. Once these uh, rebels spawn, we maybe we want to move this army just one up. And then we move this army one in. Just trying to get it so that if a rebel spawns, we can probably get there within one month. Um, did I hear rebels somewhere? I heard the rebel noise, but I guess it wasn't us. Okay, that's fine. We've won the uh, sea of something. Wait, no we didn't. What? Uh, I didn't see us win a siege. Hmm, weird. Okay, we got Masvidan though. And let's have a look. So we probably want to head to this one next. So we'll send the, six, the double 16 man army over and we'll send the other one to Ardlan. Now we're, oh that's our fort. Uh, that's our fort that they took. Okay. Maybe I just misread it originally. Palu have risen up, which is fine because we've got an army there at last. We're going to send this army up here. This navy. Can we not move? Yeah, we're moving the navy. I don't know why the arrow didn't appear. Okay, cool. So that uh, army can kind of stay down there forever. Won the battle. Good. Good. Merge up. Everything seems to be absolutely all right here. Yeah, good. Uh, right, send this uh, navy back up here. We can get them to siege them down. Uh, we should be able to core another thing. Yeah, we'll set that to core. Uh, mission selected, conquer Bashra. Have I seen Bashra, Bathrash? Wait, Bashra before. That's in Iraq. I'm not against that. Iraq have no allies. I'm, I'm going to take that mission. That seems absolutely fine mission to do after we uh, do our war of Persia. Did it give us a claim? He did give us a claim. Fantastic. So we can use that to do uh, go to war with them. We are using a lot of our admin points, but it doesn't matter that much. Uh, the Ottomans have a new monarch. Does that mean we need to renew our stuff with them? No. Uh... They also don't desire our provinces right now, which is very nice. 
the moment that happens, we're going to have some issues, but it's fine. Uh, I could go and attack Persia's army, but I don't see a great reason to. Uh, we have one person here. We have the 1-1-1. One, one, one. Are there other two leaders just up in... Yeah, they're up there, so we probably don't need two leaders up there. If we give the 1-4-1, uh, one, one, we can actually go and fight this in Gillen. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's grab him. And that should allow us to win because we have a four shot general. Mm, that's not as much of a win as I wanted, but that's fine. We'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Uh, a reform has been revoked. Oh. Their uh, imperial authority got so low they had to revoke a reform. So that means the reforms are actually gone, have actually gone back down. That's uh, brilliant. The... Uh, Holy Roman Emperor is falling apart very quickly. Which is probably bad for us, actually, unless France can reach the Commonwealth. Basically, if France's uh, like power extends all the way through to the Commonwealth, they'll, they'll definitely go to war. So, that would be good for us. Um, but apart from that, having the, a strong Holy Roman Empire means that the Commonwealth is kind of... Uh, it's hemmed in. It doesn't have a anywhere to expand, which means that it won't get stronger over time. Which is essentially the problem with a lot of this, is that if you just sit and wait, they'll get stronger over time, and then you, you just kind of get destroyed. Is that Bengal declared war on Pegu? Yeah. Okay. I thought that was Pegu declared war on Bengal, and I was very confused. Uh, they've completed that occupation. I sent this army up. It should hopefully get to the seven-man army before it manages to get anything. Oh, land maintenance modifier. Now, if you look at this, our maintenance right now is 46. If we get 10% off of that, that should mean that we're getting an extra four ducats a month. So we should be below three ducats. We're not below three ducats a month. Let's try that right now. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're, we're at uh, 1.8 ducats a month we're losing now. That's much more sustainable than losing seven ducats a month. It's definitely something that we can live with. And we will live with it. Uh, no, we're not giving you military access. Okay. Wow. I'm actually thinking they might get this before we get there, which is crazy for an army that has no leader. France entered a military alliance with the Commonwealth. You see, this is the thing we don't want to happen. That seems very bad. Oh, fantastic. They didn't get the siege. Which means that we win it. Cruelty of mercenaries. Um... Nah, we'll take the extra on rest. I don't care. It's not that big a deal. Right. Won the battle. Go de siege. Actually, go stop them on Masvidan. I mean, they're not going to take it, but go stop them. Where's the next uh, fort? The next fort would be here. So what we can do is we can send the army to Ilam. We'll send it then to the next spot. Are you coming to fight me in Ilam? That seems... Foolish. That seems very foolish. Right, we'll send this army down to the fort then. Uh, we did get some rebels that appeared in Shivran, although I would have liked to pop up about that. Apparently I'm not going to get one. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. I didn't see anything about these rebels. Oops. Do we have any other rebels about to pop? Oh, I had to scroll down. <sighs> right, um, let's send this tw 22,000 through. Wait, do we not have military access to Scandinavia? Did they cancel it? They cancelled military access. Huh. Oh well, whatever. The Ottomans would like us to transfer 25% of their trade. Excuse me, Ottomans? Um, I think we're stronger than you. I think you can just... Yeah, go away. Uh, Persia will seed a whole bunch. Um, no, I want to look at the... We might peace out right now, though. But I, I don't want their peace deal. What do we have claims on? Hmm. So we could take Masvidan. Let's have a look. We, can take Mas we could take the stuff we have claims on. Should be fine. Yeah, if we just take the stuff we have claims on, it would be fine. What else do we want to take? 
Uh, probably want to take that. That works out quite nicely for us. That gives us 81% overextension though. Wait, do we start at 49 with this deal? Let me clear it. No. Okay. So we can get up to 51% overextension, but probably don't want to go to 51. So we want this province. And that probably means that we want these provinces as well. That's as much as we can take. That's more than we can take. How about we don't take... Let's take this. That works out quite nicely. Gives us the border with Armenia. Means that we don't have to deal with these rebels. And means that we're kind of blocking off some other bits of combat. Yeah, I like that. Uh, nothing else I really want. We could take war rep. We'll take war reparations. There we go. That's fine. We probably want to core these ones first. And the reason we want to core these ones first, they cost less. Uh, I do want to go to war for Rack, but I want to wait till we're a little bit in a like, a little bit less um, overextended. So we'll go move the army in there. Move the army down. Where are other armies? 15 man army, which we can just kind of send up to there, I think. I said we'll send you to deal with the rebels up here. Oh, we should probably send two armies up there, in fact. Uh, we'll leave the 30 man army and we'll send the 27 man army up here. I can't take, we can't take that route. That route does not exist. I, it thinks the route exists, but I know that route really doesn't exist as a route we can take. Right, let's do that. And see where everything's going. Good, good. Rivals are announced. Alright. Persia entered a military alliance with Kaffa. Yeah, okay. They're a little bit far away for them to actually help. Plu has attacked our settlement again. Doesn't matter because we can survive these things. Attach. I want to send you to this province, which is not quite finished, so we'll need to actually watch this as we send them there. We invest in the next level of Diplotech, which would allow us to improve some of our stuff here. Global Settler increase, actually, that's quite nice. Uh, we'll take it, just because of the Global Settler increase. Uh, do we have a policy going right now? Uh, we could do the Colonial Act. We could do the dip Oh, we want to act, act, uh, activate that before we take Synth. I need to remember that. But we have the 20%. Great news. Coffee will be produced in Palu. Oh, a coffee boon. Oh, okay. Price of coffee in changes. We get a lot of ducats and we get some prestige. Very nice random events. Cool. Head down here. Send the army to Bhutan. Or Bhutuan. I don't know how you do that. Uh, how you pronounce that. Then we send them to Palu. Done. Some more discovery spread of over here. Okay. Fine. Fine. Everything's pretty good. I would like this one province from Muscovy. I really hope that Scandinavia don't take it. Uh, but apart from that, we're pretty much in the clear. These armies are moving up. Uh, you're on a fort. Uh... Like, we probably want to head for the ones that are on forts first. Just what I'm thinking here. There we are. I'll send them like that, just because we don't want to lose them. Ooh, he sent 28 to one province. Uh, we'll swap them around. You head up to that one. There we are. Just because we don't want to send 17 into that many. Uh, a couple of Finnish people appeared. That's fine. We can deal. Delhi entered the military alliance with the new ally Gujarat. Okay, fine. Gujarat are nothing now. Uh, Finnish Separatist, Finnish Separatist, yes, yes. The 17 made it here, we finally got that. A comet was sighted, if only we had comet sense. Okay, next rebels 1.8 years in Norway. Yeah, we, we just have to deal with the Norway ones normally. How about uh, we can get rid of the Olenets ones, I think. If we just raise that, that should pretty much get rid of them. The Karelians. 5.2 years. Yeah, once we lower overextension, none of this is going to matter at all. 
That's fine. Tron Log is part of our thing. Pegu is uh, being full annexed by Bengal. Good. Well, I don't know. Average. I don't care. It makes no difference to us. Oh, they managed to get a fort. Ah, I hate it when they manage to actually get the forts. A uh, looming disaster. Eternal conflicts. How do we look? How do we get rid of it? Stability is less than zero. Adds plus one. Less than 100% religious unity. How do we get rid of this? Unrest lower than zero. Oh, we can do that. We just need to continue on our normal path. If we send these armies into these two provinces, we can then move them both in at the same time to the 29 stack and win that fight. More discovery spread, more discovery spread, fine. Head in here. We should be fine. 10 got there first, but then we got the other 27 in. Everything's working over there. Uh, continue coring. We got Norwegian Septus that are about to raise up. But apart from that, nothing's too bad. More discovery spread, more discovery spread. Ottomans are coming to help us with our rebels. Fan like, fine. Uh, yeah, we'll spend the ducats rather than lose the stability. We'll send a 19 man army up here and the 10 and the single man army can siege there. Hopefully the yeah, the Ottomans will come back and help, I think. That's fine. A truce of Tunis ended. We're at war of Tunis? Really? I don't remember. Oh, we must have been at war when the Ottomans went to war with um, with the Mamluks. Oh, where's this? That's the wrong button. It's a uh, Tetzelik? Really? Six, six peasants are just appearing here. Ah, uh, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Wait for those men to all raise up, and then we'll move all of our men into that uh, one bit there. All of these mercenaries can now go to the single province. That's fine. Ah, uh, there we head over there. That'll continue sieging and it'll kinda eventually we'll have enough to siege it. Right. Head into that one province. Yeah, we really don't want internal conflicts. That would be bad. That'd be pretty bad for us. Right. Merge up. Keep merging them once they get there. Right, eight. Uh, can we put a leader in charge of this army? That would be the leader that's currently over here, right? Yeah. Good. Uh, we will have this. Okay, we're going to win that. No, you can't have military access from us. You cancelled our military access. Why would I give you military access? Oh, they're also being attacked by the Netherlands, so they're actually going to lose a lot of their southern land, which is nice. Oh, if they can de if the Netherlands go and desiege this, that means that we might be able to get military access from Muscovy and get back over. Although we might not want to do that. Okay, we won. Perfect. We now start um, desieging. Okay, provinces like course. Uh, we want to wait and do the Masrodani one next. Battle of Bhutan. Okay. I think we're in a good position. Uh, I'm happy to move on from here. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.